talk to us, buddy? Yeah, that's what Sheriff's on the right Perfect. now. And we saw you coming. We're so, hoping that was it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. We're trying to get everything put together here real quick. Give okay. just a second. Thank you. This afternoon, we received a complaint about an airplane crash here in Sigourneville. When first responders arrived, they did find a single engine airplane had crashed here in the field, and there is one fatality. The body's been taken to ETSU for positive identification, not receiving, releasing any names or anything at this time, but it's very sad situation and uh, very dangerous situation. Sheriff, I apologize, my mic wasn't hot. Can you repeat that first part, please, sir? It was about 2.15 this afternoon we received a complaint of airplane crash here near the airport in Seattle. When first responders arrived, that's when they found an airplane crash. There is one fatality. Uh, first responders are removing the body to uh, be taken to ETSU for positive identification. Is there any indication the cause of the crash? From early indications, uh, seemed like it's having engine trouble, but we have the FAA, the National Transportation Safety Board, be coming and they'll be doing the intense investigation. I noticed some tree branches down in the yard. Was that from the crash? Did you get the trees? That's all we understand. Yeah. What can you tell us about the home or the family? Was anyone home at the time, or was anyone injured on the ground? I don't know. Nobody entered the ground. Only one fatality, and that was all. And you have no um, ideas to, you know, maybe what happened in the plane to lead to this, or where this plane was going? That would be up to the, the federal people, the National Transportation Safety Board, and the FAA. They do that. And how long do you guys expect to be on scene here? We won't be here very much longer. We'll be uh, securing the scene until other agencies arrive. Do we know where the plane was coming from? No, I don't. But it was headed towards the airport? Yes. Approaching for a Returning back to the airport, yes. We're, we're about a quarter mile from the end of the runway, aren't we? Is that yeah. over the crest of that hill there? Just over the crest of the hill by our airport. Is this technically Sir Goinsville or Rogers Hill? This is Scarlinsville, city of Scarborough. She can place here. We go. Uh, Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Rodeo. We just, uh, when we was notified, we all responded. I just saw in the press release it said a Rogersville home. It landed in the yard of a Rogersville home, so I was just clarifying. Yeah, the, the address is up here a little different. Some of the area does have a Rogersville address and zip code, but it's inside the city of Savorne. Who all is on scene here right now? We have the uh, Savornsville Fire Department, Hawkins County Sheriff's Department, uh, EMA, and Hawkins County Rescue. Seems arriving coming back to the airport. Had he he taken off? He had actually taken off from the airport and was returning to the airport. You know, if a distress okay. call or he. Nothing that we know of yet. 
do you know when um, the federal agents will show up? Should be sometime next week. What can you tell us about, like, you know, I can't see the plane or see much of it. Was was there a fire? Was there, like, can you describe what we can't see? There was a fire on the impact. How long until NTS we about to get some fire trucks out of here, y'all. All right, thank you, all Thank you. Okay, you heard it from the uh, sheriff and the Smurkle Police Chief. Uh, the uh, pilot was approaching Sabronsville Airport. They don't know if it was a mechanical problem. They do know that he did hit some tree limbs and you can see, you probably can't see them from this video, but there are some tree limbs laying on the ground just to the west of the wreckage. Uh, there was one victim. They're, they're gone. Um, you see they set up a tent over there, which is pretty common with these type of investigations. Uh, the crash occurred about a quarter of a mile east of the runway entrance. And we're in, uh, on Main Street here in Segonsville. And uh, one victim, and the name hasn't been released to the victim yet. So we're gonna go ahead and sign off again.